Hi everyone, welcome to Zen Den, a safe space to calm your mind and body. Today we're going to be doing a chair yoga practice. So you want to find a chair, preferably without arms, but you can either place blocks or books or something underneath your feet, or you can place something under your seat if that's, you know, depending on which way you need to go. I also have with me a tea towel and a blanket that we'll be using later on in the practice. So make sure you have something like that available in case you would like to use that as well. But we're going to start off with our feet planted firmly on the ground. Our knees and our feet are hips distance apart. And we have a nice straight spine. So we're not slouching over. We're not arching too far the other way either. And we're also not leaning against the chair. So you do want to use your core muscles and your back muscles and keep your back nice and straight. And we're going to just start off by kind of grounding ourselves and connecting to our bodies and our breath. So you might want to close your eyes or otherwise you might want to have a soft gaze in front of you. And you can place your hands kind of wherever you want to, either on your lap in front of you, maybe one hand in, in the other one. Maybe you want to do prayer hands, whatever feels right for you in this moment. And we're just going to pay attention to our breath. So we're not particularly changing the breath, we're not slowing it down or speeding it up. Just paying attention to your breath. So are you inhaling through your nose or your mouth? Where do you feel the breath moving your body? And same with the exhales. Are you exhaling out of your nose or your mouth? And where do you feel the exhales in your body? Maybe just noticing any micro movements in your body Maybe you would notice if you can feel your heartbeat. And a quick body scan. How does your body feel today in this moment? How do your feet feel? How do your legs feel? How do your hips feel? Your back and your spine? Your chest and your tummy? your shoulders, your arms and your hands, your neck, your face and your head. How does your whole body feel? Whilst doing that quick body scan, was there anywhere that particularly caught your attention? And if there was, let's try and relieve that tension today during this class. So we're going to slowly open our eyes. And we're actually going to start off by moving our eyes because I think it's a part of the body that we use without really realizing that we're using it. So with your face, with your head still and your face, you know, facing forwards, we're going to look over to the right hand side. So you're not straining here, don't push too far. Back to center and over to the left. Again, you want to be careful here, don't push yourself too far. Back to center, look up back to center and look down on back to center let's do that one more time so look over to the right hand side like i'm not pushing it not hurting yourself back to center to the left don't strain your eyes we're just moving them back to center looking up back to center and looking down and back to center Let's start by moving our neck. So if you'd look over your right shoulder. Again, we're not pushing too far. Back to center over to the left. Don't hurt yourself here. Back to center over the right shoulder. Back to center over the left shoulder. Back to center, let's look up. And look down. This time when you look up, you can hold onto your chest skin if you want to. So place your hands on your chest. And as you look up, pull your hands down almost. So you're stretching the skin of your neck. And then when we look down, we're going to put our hands, if you want to, behind your head and just have a, apply a tiny bit of pressure just to stretch your neck a little bit more. 
and back to centre. The next thing I like to do is to bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. And back to centre, left ear to left shoulder. And back to centre, right ear to right shoulder. In this time you might want to extend your left hand out and press out through your left fingertips. And back to centre, left ear to left shoulder and extend your right hand out and press out through your right fingertips. And back to centre right ear to right shoulder, extending your left hand out and you might also want to bring your right hand up and over to bring your hand by your left ear and apply some very gentle pressure there. So we'll release that back to centre and then left ear to left shoulder, right hand out to the side and then if you want to Bring your left hand up and over to meet your right ear and gently apply some pressure there as well. And back to centre. So next we're going to move the shoulders. So you might want to do some rotation. So move your shoulders backwards, moving your shoulders forwards. Maybe just give your body a little bit of a shake, shake your arms out. Let's bring your hands out in front of you and press your fingers out, reach, 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 stretch your fingers out and then squeeze them back in again. Stretch your fingers out, squeeze them back in. One more time, stretch your fingers out and squeeze them back in. And then from here, we're going to move into eagle arms. So if you bring your arms out to the side of you, either side, and we're gonna start off by giving ourselves a big, big hug. So this time on the first round, bring your right arm underneath and your left arm over the top and give yourself a nice big hug, a nice big squeeze. This is gonna stretch your upper back and your shoulder blades. Okay, let's bring the arms out back to the side. And this time the left hand, the left arm goes under, right arm goes on top and again give yourself a nice big squeeze you can even rock from side to side if you want to give yourself a big hug <laughs> and then bring your arms out to the sides from here we're going to move into eagle arms so bring your right arm underneath the left arm left arm goes on top and your elbows might meet and then bring your bend your elbows and bring your hands up to the air so you might be here you might be able to bring your hands a bit closer together you might also be able to hook your hands around each other. So either one of these is absolutely perfect depending on what you want to do today in your body. So this is going to be stretching your shoulder blades, stretching your back, stretching your shoulders as well. Stay here for one more moment. And release, we'll do the same on the opposite side. So arms outstretched to the sides of you. And this time left arm goes under, your elbows cross and bend at the elbows. So you might be here and your the back of your hands are facing each other. So you might be here, you might be able to get a bit closer. You might also be able to hook your hand around. So no matter where you are today, that's absolutely fine. Again, stretching your shoulders, stretching your shoulder blades. This is a really lovely stretch. And again, it doesn't really matter where you are, just whatever feels best for you today and back to centre, maybe shake out your shoulders and your arms, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> so back to centre with your hands back on your knees. So the next thing I want to do is move into some breathing exercises. So we're going to bring our arms down by our sides and on the inhale we're going to raise our arms above our head and I encourage you to inhale with your nose. So arms come together, join at the top, hands come together and then on the exhale, exhale through the mouth and bring your hands down to a prayer hands in front of you. So let's do that three more times. So hands down by your side, inhale through the nose, hands meet at the top in prayer hands and exhale through the mouth. Bring the hands down the front. Let's do it two more times. So inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. And back to centre, hands come onto our legs. 
I'm going to move into a gentle twist. So rather than holding onto the chair to, for leverage to kind of twist us even further, what we're going to do is bring our hands in prayer, hands in front of us. And we're going to inhale to lengthen. And on the exhale, twist to the right hand side. So we're just using our core muscles, our back muscles. And whilst we're twisting, try to keep your legs parallel. Because I noticed that when I twist, my legs go almost like I'm skiing. They go from side to side. So again, inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist and just check on your legs, make sure they're parallel and twisting from the core and from your back. So twisting your spine and let's go back to center. Let's do the same on the opposite side. So inhale to lengthen, exhale, twist to the left hand side. Again, my legs move, so try and keep your legs parallel. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. and back to center. So now going to move on to our toes and our feet. So if you extend your right foot out in front of you, you might want to squeeze your toes, like press your toes out and then squeeze them in, press them out, squeeze them in. I'm actually wearing socks. <laughs> so you really can't see my, my toes, but never mind. Squeeze them in and then from here, maybe rotate your ankle in a clockwise rotation. And then anti-clockwise, so the opposite direction. We're going to do the same with the left leg. So bring the left leg out in front of you. Squeeze your toe, like press your toes out and then squeeze them in. And then press them out, squeeze them in. Press them out and squeeze them in. We're going to do rotations, so clockwise rotation. You might hear some clicking. I know a lot of people's ankles click. <laughs> and then in the opposite direction. and bring your left foot back down. The next thing we're going to do is to bring your feet onto your tippy toes and back down and then lift your toes and back down. So keeping your toes on the floor, lift your heels, back down, lift your toes, back down, lift your heels and lift your toes, heels, toes, heels, and one more time, toes. I'm actually lifting my whole foot there, I'm saying toes. You can either lift your toes or your whole foot. So either way, either way is absolutely fine. Do whatever feels good in your body. So the next one we're going to do is, I'm actually going to show you how to use the tablecloth for this exercise. So we're going to do a knee to, knee to chest stretch. So you might be able to either Hold onto your knee yourself and pull your knee up towards your chest. Otherwise you can use something like a tea towel or a, just a small towel and wrap it around the front of your knee and bring your knee close towards your chest. So you might be here or you might be all the way up here. So wherever you are is absolutely fine. There's no pressure to be anywhere at all. So just going to pull our knee into our chest and hold this for five, four, three, two and one and bring that knee back down now let's do the same on the opposite side so hook the towel or tea towel around your left knee and then gently bring that knee towards your chest so again you can be anywhere you can be down here you can be up here it really doesn't matter so let's hold this for five four three two one and then bring that back down and we've finished with the tea towel so we can pop that to one side so we're now going to move into goddess squat. So what I like to do is to come forward slightly on my chair and bring your feet out so that your feet are kind of probably a further distance than your chair legs, depending on the chair that you're using today. And your toes are pointing outwards and your knees are also pointing outwards. So from here, make sure that your feet are flat on the floor and your knees are at a 90 degree angle. You've got a nice straight spine, your chest is lifted and you have several variations for your hands. So you can either keep your hands on your knees, you can maybe do prayer hands, you could maybe do cactus arms, or you could do arms above your head. So wherever you want to be today is absolutely perfect. So we're going to stay here for maybe 
I'm just going to widen my stance a little bit. But stay here for about 10 seconds. So energetically kind of pushing your knees outwards. Maybe noticing which muscles you can feel being used in this pose. You should be using your core, your back, maybe your arms, depending on which arm pose you're doing. And also your leg muscles, you're also maybe stretching your hips. So there's a lot going on in this pose. And from here, let's bring our hands down. We're going to move into a side stretch. So you can slowly bring your left elbow to your left knee. And then you might want to stay here. Otherwise, you might want to bring your right hand to your right hip. Otherwise, your right hand might reach upwards. Or your right hand might reach over to the left hand side. And what we want to do here is feel a gentle stretch up the side of your body. So again, quite a few muscles are working here in this pose. So do what feels best for you and your body today. And let's slowly press back up. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. So slowly bring your right elbow to your right knee. Your left hand might want to stay on your leg. It might want to come to your left hip. Otherwise reaching up to the sky or reaching over to the right hand side for a side stretch. So again, wherever you are is brilliant. Just noticing how your body feels. Maybe notice which muscles are, use, are being used. And let's come back to centre. And then the last pose I want to do is a warrior two. So I'm just going to move my blanket out of the way. So for this one, we're going to start with, okay, so let's start with our left leg over the front, the side, sorry, of the chair with your foot flat on the floor. You might want to come to the edge of your chair. Be careful, obviously, not to topple over. So come to the edge of your chair and have your left leg over this left side of the chair. And you can start to move your right leg back. So maybe this is your warrior two, and that's absolutely perfect. Bring your arms up, parallel arms to the floor, and look over your left arm. You might also want to, depending on where you are in your body, stretch your right leg out to the back. You might want to move around a little bit just to find the comfortable position. And this is warrior two in a chair. So this, again, we'll be working lots of different muscle groups. I'm going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And let's slowly bring that right leg back in, the left leg back in, and we'll do the same on the opposite side. So the right leg goes over the right hand side of the chair. I sit quite close towards the edge of, edge of the chair. And again, this might be your warrior two. So in which case, bring your arms out parallel to the floor and look over your right fingers. Otherwise, you might want to wiggle your toes around a little bit further on your left leg. If you do want to stretch your leg out, you might want to reposition on the chair slightly. So find what feels best for you. I'm limited here with space with the wardrobe. So I'm doing my best which is all we can all do. And look over the right hand, the right fingertips. I'm going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and back to center. So we're now going to move into Shavasana, which is why I have the blanket. So you can use this in several different ways. If you're feeling it's a bit cold, you can place this over your legs to keep you a little bit warm. Um, if you want to, you could place it behind your back as added support. If you do want to lean against your chair, it'll just give you some lower back support. But the way that I'm actually going to use this is on my lap. So I'm going to place my hands on the blanket. And what this does, is it just brings my hands a little bit higher. So if I don't have the blanket, my hands are down here. And maybe there's some tension on my shoulder because my arm is kind of hanging. Whereas if I use a blanket, I'm going to roll it up one more time. If you use a blanket, it means that your arms are more supported. 
And it's great if you can get a kind of a 90 degree angle with your elbow here so that your arms aren't pulling down and pulling on your shoulders. You want to be quite relaxed for Shavasana. And again, in terms of hands, you can, you know, either rest your hands upwards to feel more energized, maybe place them down to feel more grounded. You could place one hand in, into the other one. Maybe interlace your fingers. It really doesn't matter what you do with your hands. It's just whatever feels comfortable for you today. Making sure that your feet and your hip and your knees, sorry, are hips distance apart. Your feet are nice and flat on the floor and your arms are supported with a nice straight spine. You might want to gently close your eyes or have a soft gaze in front of you as we move through the Shavasana. So let's start with some breath work. What we're going to do is inhale for the count of four, hold for the count of four, exhale for the count of four, and then hold for the count of four. And we're going to do that four times to try and relax our bodies for Shavasana. So if everybody empties their lungs, we're going to inhale one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. And now go back into your regular breathing and just notice how your body feels in this moment. So let's do a quick body scan like we did at the beginning of the class. So how do your feet feel? For example, are they warm? Are they cold? Maybe even wiggle your toes around so you can feel the surface beneath you. If it's a carpet or a wooden floor or grass or whatever it is, just feel that sensation of the floor under your feet. And then noticing how your feet feel in this moment. Moving the attention up your legs and how do your legs feel and your knees? Moving the attention to your hips. Maybe noticing the pressure of sitting on the chair. Moving the attention up your back, so your lower back, middle back and upper back and your spine. Moving the attention to your chest and your tummy. Maybe noticing how they move as you inhale and exhale. Moving the attention to your shoulders, to your arms and your elbows, and to your hands and your fingers. Moving the attention to your neck, your face and your head. Again, releasing any tension, so maybe relax the jaw, bring your tongue down from the roof of the mouth if it's there. Maybe even relax your mouth and your lips. Relax your forehead if you're frowning. And just noticing how your body feels in this moment. We're going to sit here for a couple of moments in Shavasana, in meditation. 
So what I encourage you to do is to focus on your breath, on your inhales and your exhales. Something I like to do is with each inhale, say to myself in my head, I am inhaling. And as I exhale, I am exhaling. Or alternatively, I am breathing in, I am breathing out. And so if your mind starts to drift off and starts to think about other things, just try and come back to your breath with your inhales and exhales, breathing in and breathing out. When you feel ready, maybe start to wriggle your fingers and your toes and bring some movement back into your body. Gently open your eyes. Maybe give yourself a big hug as like a thank you and a well done for practicing today because I know it's not always easy to, to practice yoga. So well done for coming here today. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed this class and have a wonderful day. Bye.